Peyton, thank you. It's common for many people to fear the unknown and exactly how artificial intelligence might transform the healthcare and medical experience is no exception. Today we're joined by Dr. Kevin Stevens, who's talking about the role of robots in the medical field. Yes, hey, thank you. It's great. It's, it's great always time. good to see you. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of robots, you know, like in surgery and stuff, but yeah. I didn't know they had so many other medical field um, responsibilities as well. So oh yeah, I mean, it's a spanning every day pretty much. Uh, the biggest thing, of course, is we call it the Da Vinci model in surgery. Okay. Now instead of making large incisions, you can make small incisions. It's and, amazing what and, they can and, do. And, 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 rather than staying in the hospital five days now, you can get in in one or two days. It is really tremendous what these robots can do. But they don't take the place of the surgeon. You still have to have your surgeon. You're not going to go to the hospital and have the robot cut you and do all that stuff, that's just not going to So happen. the surgeon still has to be in there to operate absolutely, it. Absolutely. But it's just such intricate things that human fingers can't do. Exactly. As I, I mean, it's just like these cars that are autopilot. Mm -hmm. You still got to drive it. Absolutely. I mean, you can't just get your car at this point and say, take me home. You know, you got to kind of keep your hands on the wheel and stay awake to some degree or the other. Okay, so robots are also virtual nursing assistants. Uh, absolutely. How, how so? What are their job responsibilities there? Well, they can there? analyze your medical records. They can pull things together. Mm -hmm. uh, you have voice to text. So, like, for instance, if you're talking, you can talk. Uh -huh. And it will take your voice and make it into a text and put it into the medical record. Oh, it can cool. go through thousands of it can look for like I want all your blood counts. Mm -hmm. The robot can go and find them all and put it all together and print it out for you. I mean it's tremendous what technology can do today. Okay, and they can even aid in clinical judge judgment or diagnosis? Yes, they wow. absolutely can. Because you know, again, robots can look at uh, minute changes in your skin, in your tone, in mm -hmm. your eyes and it can bring and show all sorts of things so that uh, that could be difficult for us in our natural eye to see the robot can zoom us in on what we need to do, what we need to look at, and help us to make a better diagnosis faster. Okay, and then administrative tasks too and workflow. Yeah, of course. I mean, we all get this, you know. The, uh, we call them robot calls. <laughs> robot calls, yeah, we do. Those are so annoying. <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you, I don't like that either. But um, it can remind people their appointment. You can make sure, sure that you know the Sure, and that's so helpful. And tell you nice information. All you do, do you need to change it? And many times, uh, as you know, when you make reservations and stuff, you don't talk to anyone. Uh, tell me what day you want to come in, and the robot is able to hear uh, January the 3rd, mm -hmm. what time and blah, 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 so you don't even have to have a person to do it. Well, some of the things you're talking about are things that have been around, though. Yes, absolutely. But, but it's just becoming more and more prevalent. Yeah, and applications. Uh, mm -hmm. So for young people, this is an open field uh, uh, technology, science technology, Fusion, and right. all of the hacking and all this other cyber security. That's a real important field that's coming up with this. Okay, and then I didn't know Robert, uh, robots can help with image analysis. So they can actually look at x-rays and and, and, and... and you know, that goes even a little bit further because now if you are in different parts of the country mm -hmm. where you don't have a neuroradiologist to yeah. look at some of these And cells, sometimes they're so backed up it t could take them two weeks to even look at yours. That's exactly. So the robots can look at it, identify it fast, you can send it off, and then of course the doctors always have to look at it and read it to make sure it's accurate and those kinds of things, mm -hmm. but it can certainly assist us in so many different ways. What about your practice? Do you have a lot of robots? Um, well, you know, I work in managed care, so I don't practice anymore. I have to, uh, I help people authorize and get all these other things done. So, unfortunately, I don't deliver babies anymore. I would love to, but. Yeah, um, your resume is so extensive. <laughs> it's so impressive. And we really appreciate your time, appreciate your time and your expertise. Thank you so much. Guys, thanks to new, uh, Millions of people are at risk of losing their Medicaid coverage thanks to new provisions. So find out if this impacts you. That's ahead at 8.30. We'll be right back. Stay with us.